Good evening, Quahog. I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story tonight, in a shocking turn of events, the city of Detroit has officially given up. The now former mayor has given the key to the city back to the Huron Indian tribe. So farewell, Detroit. From Bob Seeger to Axel Foley, we never really cared. Joyce? Thanks, Tom. In local news, Quahog is expecting a special guest this weekend, famed Asian competitive eating champion Charles Yamamoto. Yamamoto has not yet lost a hot dog eating competition on his world tour. But if you think you have what it takes to beat the best eater in the world, come down to the James Woods High parking lot this Saturday with $50 and a large appetite. Wow, maybe you should enter the contest, Dad. I'll bet you could win. Well, I would, Chris, if I wasn't so obsessed with my figure. Wait a minute, Chris. Have you ever eaten anything? Only, like, all the time. Perfect. Now we just need the 50 bucks. Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have named that star for Mort. Ugh, just give me the money. Peter, we're not spending $50 so Chris can stuff his face with hot dogs. All right, fine. I'll figure out a way to get the cash myself. I'm a smart guy. Peter, no, you're not. Don't you feel ridiculous now? All right, Chris, if we're going to pay the entry fee for that eating contest, we got to sell some of my old stuff. What are these, Dad? Oh, wow. I haven't seen those in a while. Those are my old Playboys from the 70s. Oh, my God. This one's so hot. You can almost see a little bit of woman. Well, Peter, you got some pretty cool albums here. Yeah, well, I was one cool potato back in the day. You know, some of these might actually be worth something. Look at this. Beatles, Rolling Stones... Oh, my God, I haven't seen this one in forever. Look, look at this queen news of the world. Check it out. Ah! Well, what's the matter? What the hell is that? A killer robot monster? No, it's news of the world. It's an album by the band Queen, see? Ah! Stewie, relax. No, Brian, you keep that thing away from me. Is it, is it looking at me? Can it see me? <laughs> Man, you're really scared of this thing, huh? Does it eat little boys? I don't know, maybe, if it's hungry. Ah! Here's 50 bucks. I'm taking this album. Oh, wow. Check it out, Chris. We got our entry fee for the eating contest. Now, for the next five days, we're going to focus on nothing but training. We'll even get up at the crack of dawn. Dad. Dad. It's time to get up. Oh, jeez, Chris. It's the crack of dawn. Yeah, but, Dad, you said to wake you up. Uh, yeah, but uh, just uh, get in get in the bed with me and your mom. Okay, but what about training? Uh, you smell like melted cheese. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, good morning, Rupert. Please tell me you set the timer on the coffee maker because I completely forgot. <laughs> 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 You son of a bitch! Good morning. Thought I'd help you wake up. God, why does he look sad? He's already destroyed mankind. What else could he want? Hey, Carl. Hey, can I get a couple of scratch-off lottery tickets? Oh, sure, Brian. Ooh, Brian, can I do one? I love scratches. Well, all right, maybe just one. Cherry. Another cherry. Oh, come on, one more, one more. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. See you later. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me be Yoda. Yep. What is this? Oh, what was I worried about? Ah, 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 oh, God! Ah, ah. He's bleeding, man! He's bleeding, and nobody's doing anything about it! I'll tell you what the news of the world is! We're in a lot of trouble! All right, Chris, this is it. This is what we've been working for. If you get nervous, just picture the audience naked and slide those hot dogs down your throat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Hot Dog Eating Championship competition. Please welcome our undefeated champion eater, Charles Yamamoto. Oh my god, that guy is huge. All right, eaters, you have 10 minutes. 
On your marks, get set, eat! <laughs> Come on, Chris, you're doing great. Just keep going, you're almost dead. Well, I better get a move on. Time's almost up. It's gonna be a close one. Chris, you're four hot dogs behind. Come on, hurry. Oh, I can't eat anymore. Remember what I told you. I get these weird cyst things right on the fringe of my sack. I want to get him checked, but I'm afraid of what they're going to tell me. He's right. I can do it. We have a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Yamamoto has finally been defeated. Chris, you did it. You're a champion. And now you get your pick of the groupies. They're shiny. Yeah, it's a pretty warm day. Oh. Hey, hey, hey there, champ. Oh, look at him, Lois. Relaxing after his big victory. Peter, he's not relaxing. He's in a great deal of pain. Damn it, don't you see what you did to him? I told you not to take him to that eating competition, and you deliberately defied me. All right, what's this really about? Peter, Chris is already overweight. We need to start taking responsibility for his health. So I decided to sign him up for fat camp. What? Mom, I don't want to go to fat camp. I'm sorry, sweetie. It's for your own good. And trust me, you'll feel much better about yourself. Everyone's going to make fun of me. Oh, come on. Who's going to make fun of you? Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. That's where you belong. Peter, stop it. And I better not see you at the big dance. Come on, you. Sorry, Chris. I I'm going to go with him. Hi, welcome to Camp Fresh Start. Yeah, our son's gross, so here we are. The name's Griffin. Ah, uh, yes, Chris Griffin. We have you staying in the broccoli cabin. So you guys are just gonna leave me here? Yeah, honey, that's what camp is. I don't want to stay. Please, take me home. I don't want to go to fat camp. Oh, come on, Chris. Your mother's right. This will be good for you. <laughs> well, how come you don't have to go? You're better than I am. Huh, good question, Peter. How come you don't have to go? What are you talking about? Well, you're the one who entered him in that hot dog eating contest. Besides, he's right. You could stand to lose a few pounds yourself. Unless you don't think you could handle it. Oh, yeah? Well, I think I can. What was that? Never you mind what that was. Rise and shine, everyone. What do you got there? A candy bar, huh? Got any other contraband? No. Don't lie to me. My father was a lawyer. Oh, so your dad gets guys off. <laughs> Peter Griffin, cabin clown. Where's your bag, fatty? You're welcome to search my beef case, but there's mutton in there. <laughs> Peter Griffin, cabin clown. You're in big trouble, mister. Oh, there's no pulling the wool over this guy's eyes. Looks like I better go on the lamb. Peter Griffin, cabin clown. I think I'm going to do okay here at Fat Camp. You sure you got the chops for it? Knock it off. I'm the cabin clown. And then he went into the kitchen, slowly opened the refrigerator, and it was empty. <gasps> so then the man, weak with hunger, raced from the refrigerator to the counter to look for a delivery menu. But all he could find was one for a vegan place! Ah! Vegan places aren't real, right? No, they're not real. Or are they? Ah, salad! Ah! Ah! Thank you for sharing, Leonard. And I think getting a new couch was the way to go. Is there someone else who has a story they'd like to share? Peter? Uh, yeah, sure. This one time I was on a city bus, 